You guys remember the baby I faked you out with? Do you see the resemblance? This is the newest little baby Cusco. Oh, he's doing a video. Oh, he's doing a video. What are you, Shmishmas, doing down there? What's going on down there, Shmishmas? Oh, hi there. Top of the morning, friends and family. Oh, is that thing on? It's on. I'm sick today. I got a migraine and it's uh, it's getting me. It's getting me pretty good. And I promise the light is gonna get better in this spot. I do need to do a random comment picker winner thingy for the people that I missed on the video before last that had over 100 commenters. We're gonna randomly place throughout this video in honor of it being a random comment pick. We will do that. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to give this a try. It might be a, a new segment that we start incorporating into the vlogs. And I figured I'd make a whole vlog about this segment because this is the first one, you gotta work out the kinks and stuff, you know? I'll conduct the entire vlog from this bench where it's safe, where I'm not gonna be banging my head on anything accidentally and assuming oh, and stuff like that. And despite feeling like crap and feeling like death, I'm feeling pretty good despite those things. So. <laughs> Oh, all right, let's do it. Oh, what is this? It's very on you. Hi. <laughs> so, we're gonna try something. Yeah, like make sure the microphone's on. <laughs> this is a, oh, it's pretty wide. We're gonna try something new today. I don't know that you guys are gonna like it. I don't but, know if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> but there's only one way to know if you really, the only way to move, you gotta try, right? You, you gotta try, you gotta try. This is the perfect start to what you're trying to do. It's ideal. This is this is the epitome of the yeah. attempt. Yeah, it's very much like that. If you've read the title of this video, which I'm assuming you did if you clicked on it, I don't think I've, it's a rare day and occasion when I click on a YouTube video that I didn't read the title, unless it comes up and like there's an autoplay feature or just like plays the next whatever they think you should watch next. Or you fell asleep. Or if you fell asleep. Yeah, and that happens. And then they're autoplaying. And then they're autoplaying. That could be a possibility here. Case, sweet, sweet dreams. Yeah, good night. I just thought it would be interesting for some of you guys to figure out what, what it might be like to be like a Cusco. So this is gonna be one segment of a series that runs. If it, if it gets a good response, if everybody says, don't ever do that again. We'll probably do a few more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect, because you're getting a little insight into what it is to be a Cusco, because we treat people like we treat each other. Right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We, pretty we, broad. It is pretty broad. It's a very broad statement. We make broad statements. So there's a lot that goes on when you're a Cusco, or not. We're a broad people. I feel like in order to, to come to terms with what it's like to be, we have to determine what it is. So to be a Cusco, you basically had to be born into the family. <laughs> so the last name Cusco comes from what is now known as Czechoslovakia, I believe. Yes. That's about the region. Or, well, it's now known as Slovakia or the Czech Republic. Okay. But formerly known as Czechoslovakia. Gotcha. So that's why you're here. Right. So the la that's where the last name comes from. Some people say Cusco, and technically they're not wrong. And nor are they we. Sure as hell ain't right. It depended on what part of Russia you were in, I think. I think if you were actually in Czechoslovakia at the time, Cusco was the right way. But if you were coming from Russia, then Cusco. Think, was it was Russia or Prussia? I don't know. Prussia. This. This is what it's like right here. <laughs> <laughs> debate. So, yeah, the debate. With, with, <laughs> the thing about us is we have very open minds, so we're, we tend to draw from both sides of any debate, any topic. We can basically argue, right, I'd say we could, we could argue either side of any debate. And we are not argumentative at all. No, we would never argue. Wait, did I just agree with you? You did. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. We are human. That's important. There are often moments of deep contemplation and heavy silence. <laughs> but they're never awkward. We, we don't have awkward silences. Other people make them awkward sometimes, but 
Yeah, there See? are mosquitoes. Yeah. It is know. the presence of others that makes the silence awkward. It is the presence of others that are non-Cusco. I'm not saying all non-Cuscos make uh, silences awkward, but you wouldn't find a Cusco making an awkward silence. It would just be silence. Possibly deadly. We need a topic. We need like, we need a, so obviously the topic of discussion is what it's like to be a Cusco, but there's so many spectrums to that and so many facets to that. I feel like we need a and topic. Fingers. And, and there's fingers to it. There's yeah. There's there's fingers. There's, there's rivulets. Directions. There's post traumatic uh, Cusco. Cusco. Yeah. <laughs> PTK. <laughs> it's, it's what happens if you've spent a lot of time with a Cusco, and then suddenly you're ripped away from this Cusco. If you guys stopped making vlogs like tomorrow and they were done, you guys would start to experience PTK and know what it was really I think like. Some of them. Did on uh, April Fools. Oh, yeah, yeah. People, so those of you that fell for the April Fools joke, you, PTK. PTK. Yeah. That's what you were experiencing: dismay and uh, and hurt and abandonment. PTK. So we haven't defined what Cus well, we defined where Cus goes from. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's a good solid foundation. But like, what is a Cusco? I think Cuscos, through a surprising lack of adversity, have experienced adversity through a lack of. I don't, uh, you explain yourself. No. Definitely a Cusco quality right there. People want explanations and we give none. 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 Zero, zero, zero explaining is necessary. All right, so let me explain. Okay, so this part's actually taking place the next day. No, I haven't changed my shirt yet. But my cousin, funny enough, who we're just talking to is, he's stuck. Something happened to his truck right at the intersection that's where I got in my car accident a while back. It's just property. Can be replaced for those of you guys who have been following around for a long time. So we're we're gonna go rescue him. Toast strap. Gas can. This is it. This is where that guy came flying around this corner, just like I was coming out of that corner. Other guy's coming on this. Oh, that guy's flying over to my side of the lane too. Gosh, people are dangerous on this corner. Go. Oh. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> what happened? Uh, it died. Okay. Fair enough. So. That fuel pump that I had been hearing noises from stopped making noises. So I disconnected the uh, fuel lines from the front tank to the rear tank, thinking that I had a full tank in the rear tank. But I don't. Have you not changed your shirt since yesterday either? Uh, I took it off while I slept. <laughs> it's, this is what it is to be a Cusco. <laughs> Adversity. <laughs> Seems like it'll be absolutely nothing but it's how you have it, so. Hey, apples. The Kazo and Kazo Show. <laughs> Do you remember anything from yesterday? No. Nothing at all? I mean, today. Today. Are we this, doing today or yesterday? Which one are we this, going? This, we're, this is today. Today is today. Today is today. Yesterday, yesterday is yesterday. And that shovel seems so far. All right, here goes nothing. What, what are you doing over there? It's filling up the gas tank. <laughs> Ooh, gas hole. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Found on road dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so funny. It's not dead, it's just lightly injured. If you gotta be broken down the middle of the road, at least it's here where there's no traffic and not there where there is traffic. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's a satisfying noise. All right, guys, thanks for helping out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you, right. on the, see you on the bench. All right. <laughs> um, on the morning announcements in elementary school, when they called your name, more often than not, they said, what? Cusco. Yes, adversity. Overcoming adversity through a surprising lack of, <laughs> right? Yeah, that was rough. Really rough. I don't know how I made it through that. We all experience that though. Cons like that's a consistent theme. Oh, true. Okay, I, I see your point. Right? Yes, all right? of us Cuscos experience Cusco. Right. From people who just don't know. They just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. That. Another prime example of being a Cusco. There's a picture of me, I think, on the bow of a boat with Uncle Dave Cusco doing that exact Noah maneuver right there. Uncle Dave and I are just, pissing just off the front of a boat. <laughs> Drop trial. Yeah, we, we definitely pee anywhere. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's probably true of a lot of people out there, but it, it definitely holds true. Yeah, we will pee anywhere. No shame. There is a small hey, bladder. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey. Why not get out the thing? Seeking's around here. <laughs> hey Noah, what do you know? I know. You. What about me? That you're boo boo and that's I know. Oh come on, uh, Eli, you got something better for us. I hope. What's it like to be a Cusco? Chickens? Yeah. No. I know chickens and those big chickens are big. What is it like to be you? And um, those, the eggs are not, the chickens are digging. <laughs> this is running out. It's, I'm all right, this seems like a good spot to take a break and do a random comment pick. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the video, which was titled Why I Feel Bad About It. Had really awesome Slayer Music Monday thing. If you guys missed it, you should probably go back and check it out, especially if you like Slayer, because it was good. Um, not gonna lie about how good it was. <laughs> so, copy the URL, paste it into our comment finder, filter the duplicate users. 105, just made it guys, 105 unique commenters. Well, let's start the raffle and pick a random winner. Larry Bratcher, another awesome vid. Slayer was a perfect choice for this. See, I wasn't lying. Slayer was the perfect choice. Congratulations, Larry. Go ahead and get a hold of me via all the many ways there are to get a hold of me down in the description. And we will get your mailing address. And I'm also going to pick my favorite comment, which was Slayer related by Ashley Nelson. Never thought I'd be watching a video where ducks and chickens are running with Slayer in the background. What a way to start my morning. Ah, that was my favorite part of the video too, Ashley. All right, guys, let's get back to Cuzzo. Oh. <clears throat> We're starting to have mosquito issues, or we've had mosquito issues the whole time, and it's really starting to do something. Uh, or not, whatever. Age. It's starting to itch. Yeah, it's starting to itch. Don't scratch it. I'm, it's, I'm, being a Cusco is like having an itch that you know better than to scratch. Yeah, slap your itches. Don't scratch them. <laughs> hmm, I, I feel like, I feel like we're just barely scratching the surface on this. Don't. We just went over that. Oh yeah. yeah. Don't, don't scratch the itch. Well, Maybe this one. See, see. This, is, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're gonna get perspectives from many different Cuscos in this segment. This is just one Cusco perspective. But I think you'll start to find a theme in the perspectives. And that's gonna be that they're very broad. What I, what I mean when I say that we, we can argue either side of the talk, like the open mind, I can't stress the open mind thing enough. It's like, when people get in arguments with us, it's tough for that person usually because because we're having fun. Because we're having fun with it. We're not. We're, we're, we're not mad. 
<laughs> we're enjoying the fact that <laughs> that we can that there's so many sides to any topic that you can just like you can really dive into any of them if you pull all the facts and pull all the opinions together. It's there, there's I mean conflicting truths. Conflicting truths. Yeah, there's truths on both sides of any any argument, and I like to think that we see most of those truths. Many of them. Many for of sure. many of the truths on on the, any side of any topic. While holding to the fact that we know that there are truths that we don't have a grasp on. Right. There's always something out there that we don't know and we know that. We know that we know the unknown is unknown. Right. And acknowledged. Yes. So the, the possibility that we have no idea what we're talking about does cross our minds. That's a very good possibility. Yeah, it's a very strong possibility. It's actually likely. It's yeah, it's quite likely, but we don't tend to let on to that in the middle of a debate. No. <laughs> it's usually Long after the debate has been had and we, yeah, everybody's gone home and decided that yes, we were in fact right, that, that we will way. admit then, oh, actually we might be wrong. <laughs> it's the prime time to do it. I like this. Um, being a Cusco is good. Yeah. It's, it's... Yeah, being a Cusco has many merits. There's, there's not too many downsides. Uh, what, would be, what, would, what would be a downside of being a Cusco? Cusco. <laughs> There's a downside of being a Cusco. <laughs> to the point where I've accepted it. I, I, I have also accepted it. And you know, what, you know what I accept it as is because... Because then we get our own theme song guy. And this perfect world will spin Around his every little whim Cause this perfect world begins and ends with me What's his name? Cusco! Because the Emperor's new groove brought a whole new insurmountable challenge to the Cusco debate. Guys, I'm back. And, uh, oh. Yeah. You're back, Eli, and what would you like to tell us? I got this. You get that. Got it, get it, good. I'm digging. Ow. So, if you've made it this far into this video, I would like to congratulate you and thank you for your dedication to what it is to be Cusco and, and for your, just your dedication to Cusco and I'm assuming oh, <laughs> I'm assuming that you'll never <laughs> I'm assuming that you'll never <laughs> say Cusco again if you've made it this far but <laughs> God love it there was another one. Uh, review the footage alright alright I'm sure I, I believe you I believe you it's starting to hurt it though one of the reasons I decided to even do this is you might not be able to tell right now but I'm sick as a dog I'm sick and I, I, didn't, I don't have the energy to go about and get like all the crazy cinematic shots it takes some takes some work because I'm moving right now that he didn't realize this but <laughs> that smack in the head was pretty serious <laughs> Speaking uh, of which, I was going to go into this in yesterday's vlog, but I didn't have time. It would be, it would be a Wednesday, Wednesday's vlog. When, Wednesday's. this is going to go on Friday, yeah, so. Okay, so. so Wednesday's vlog. I don't know how much you guys know about this guy. I've known him my whole life. He's not known me his whole life. And for some reason, where was I going? Oh, smacking you in the head. So, this guy and I go way back. He used to be much bigger than I was. And... Okay, let me stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there for this one fact. Okay, when I thought about, I thought about doing this this morning, right? Okay. I, didn't, I hadn't told you about doing this yet. And as I was thinking about doing this, I thought about this story right here. And I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna guess this is where oh, you were going. Shit. We were sitting, we were in my parents' front yard. I was much bigger than this guy. And uh, he walks up, yeah, and nailed it. He, he, he just gave me a, a sock right and just nailed me dead solar plexus. If freaking knocked me to the ground, knocked the wind out of me, I went to the ground like a little oh. <laughs> And and I could see in his face that part of him was like, oh, oops, but also part of him was like, oh, yeah, I took him down. <laughs> My recollection of the story was I was invited to hit him as hard as I could in the stomach, not just walk up. And he may not have been, he definitely wasn't prepared. He was down and out for at least four parents coming out. <laughs> I must have been, I mean, I think I must have been maybe eight, nine, that would have put, you at, about like, right. you, put you at like five or six. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty good ego boost for a five or six year old, I would think, yeah. to take down and the nine year old. Look what became of me, I grew up big and strong because of it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a, this is a, this is a, <laughs> this is a mind over matter right here. I love that you were going to bring, because literally when I started talk, thinking about this idea, that story popped right into my head. Like, yeah. I, I was going to forget to say it, so I'm glad you brought it up. That was my story for Wednesday's vlog, and I forgot it, so here it is now. 
Jeez, guys, I I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope, and I know it's a very far departure from our usual vlogs that have all kinds of cinematic, fancy stuff going on. But I figured we'd just get down to a, a whole different level of uh, value. You know, our, our whole, our Cusco family values. Even though we just have touched lightly on it, you're gonna, you'll learn more. This is, there's much more to this topic than anybody anywhere could probably ever want to know. But, I might be wrong about that. Maybe people are really interested. Maybe you're really interested in this topic. I mean, if they've made it, what, 175 vlog entries at this <laughs> point? If you've made it to, through that many vlog entries, and if you haven't, go back to the beginning, start from there, work your way all the way through. You'll start to understand he's a pretty good example of a Cusco. And uh, if you have made it all the way through 175 vlog entries, find something to do. Me threw off my groove.